Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Ruka Kodash. And I would like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth, and also for ruling well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, striving in the vine in these last days. Even unto those who are sincerely seeking, to, seeking the truth, shalom. Um, I just want to do this lesson. You know, I believe don't have um, a title, but it's just going to be a little update of what's going on on the side of the world in Italy. And, you know, what we are saying, actually. So, well, it is also going to be a sort of um, encouragement to the, to the brothers, you know, in the truth. Because these times are really difficult times that we're going through right now. And things are really going to get worse than this. Um, I'm talking from the point of view of um, persecution, you know. So, you know, me personally, what I'm suffering here and, you know, my brother also, you know, the speckled bed, um, we're going through a lot of, you know, persecution, you know, um, people are being alienated. That's the right word. You know, they're being alienated, poisoned, you know, to the truth, you know. So, you know, you have people in your homes, you know, they come against you. You know, they persecute you for the truth. And you just sometimes, you know, I just wish I never spoke about the truth to some certain people, you know, even at my workplace, you know. So I know there are lots of brothers who are going through this same situation, you know. But you see, this is, the, this is part of the testing, you know. This is part of the trying. You know, we need to go through fire. I think is it the book of Jeremiah or Isaiah that says, you know, we we are going the elect are going to be tested as you know gold is tried in the fire, you know, that's how we're going to go through. You know, we just need to hold on strong. Be strong. This is the time we really need to prove to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that, you know, we have nothing to lose in this world. We have absolutely nothing to lose in this world. This world, as we can see it, you know, it's just at the brink of its end. So, you know, should be like a word of encouragement to you. Because some brothers definitely are going through, you know, what we're going through. That's being persecuted at your workplace, either in your family, um, around your circle. Like me, personally, you know, I, I don't have friends anymore, you know. I just have the three friends who are the brothers that are in the truth here in Italy, you know. And that's it, you know. Outside of that circle, I barely have a friend because I don't even have a discussion, you know. I don't have what to discuss with you if it's not the truth, you know. If, you're, if we're not talking about the truth, we're not talking about anything else, you know. So you could just get off my front. This is what it is, you know. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you get consumed by this truth and you just feel like, you know, sharing it with certain people and believing maybe you could shed some light to these people, you know. But sometimes, you know, the opposite happens. You know, you find out that you did a wrong move, you know, teaching this truth to, to that person, you know, because you bring the demon out of them and it's that, you know. Well, anyway, it's all, it's all good. We're actually doing our own part. We don't need to think of what people, you know, what people judge us by. We just have to do the commandments the Most High has asked, asked us to do. You know, if we love him, we're going to teach his truth, you know. We're going to feed his sheep. Like what he, what he told um, Simon and Peter, if you love me, you know, feed my sheep. So, you know, let's just... Get a quick scripture. So from the book of John. In the book of John. Go to chapter 15. Verse 20. Right. 
So John 15, 20 says, Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will also keep yours also. So as we know the story of, you know, our master who is Yahweh Shai, you know, who came to give us a footprint of what we have to do. He came to give us, you know, the example of how to serve to become, you know, heirs of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know. He was persecuted. He was hated, you know. People did all sort of foul and wicked, vile things towards him, you know. And talking about these people, you know, the enemies, they took advantage. And also, most especially his people, the house of Israel, you know. So we are not greater than our master, you know. If our master went through all these things, surely we, the servants, we are also going to go through all these things. But you see, the master was faithful to the end, you know. He ended his mission. He completed the mission the most the most high, his father, Yahweh sent him to do, you know. He got to a stage he almost gave up, you know. He was asking if the father could pass the cup away from him. But, you know, he had no choice than to just, you know, hold on to the last. And this is just the biggest example for us, you know. Most of you are being persecuted, hated at your job places, in your family, everywhere, you know. And now, for example, you know, I I watched the news yesterday here in Italy. We have the the madman there at the Vatican, you know. He was he, he was um he was interviewed and he was questioned about the situation going on in the United States. That's Babylon the Great, you know. So all he had to say was, you know, if you read the message behind what he's trying to say was, you know, um, they should learn from this incident, you know, all sorts of group that are saying things against, that goes against. It wasn't, you know, he's just, it was just coming up with points that you can really see the evil behind this point, you know, if the most eye opens your eyes. And what he was trying to just target was, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, those who have um who have who have not um been integrated in this society, you know, because we were going to be we're going to be classified as those who are not integrated into this crazy society because we are part of the world, we are in the world, but we are not part of the world, you know. That's the commandments we, we were given, you know. We are actually living in this world, but we are not part of this world. So we cannot integrate into this society, you know. We can't follow certain rules, you know, which this society is pushing to us, you know. We follow the rules of the Most High. So that was his point actually was, you know, those who are, you know, not going, are not going, are not being conformed to to, to the society that they, they're building, you know. They should, be, they, they should be persecuted, you know. They should put an eye on such people. That was what this madman was actually saying that was that was the point of his discussion i was trying to check it out now but it was actually a special they did on tv on an italian station and i couldn't find it so you know these people are just you know everywhere is going crazy like you know my brother the speckled bed right here is going through a lot of persecution at work you know ever since he had this truth you know when he got this truth you know the truth started working on him. The most I did. The whole big marvelous job in his life, just like he did in my life, you know. He finally gave up smoking and all these things, you know. He started being serious and learning and growing, you know. So he start, he stopped acting a fool at work, you know. He stopped smoking and he stopped doing certain things, you know. He stopped, he wasn't really that folly like he used to be before, you know. His colleagues didn't like this, you know, they started going to report that his dude is changing, he's a different person, you know. The brother right there, he actually got a letter, you know. He got a letter for this. And this is what this is what it is, you know. They call good for evil. And woe we'll be unto those those people that call good for evil, you know, even in his household, his wife, his mom, you know, 
his brother, you know, they all just, you know, alienated against him, you know, they preferred him while he was, you know, you know, under influence of drugs, you know, doing all sorts of madness, you know, almost get killed, you know, in that crazy life. They actually preferred him that way. And that's the same thing that happened to me, you know. And I guess the same thing is happening to many of this, many of our brothers, you know, especially those in the, in, in the Great Millstone, you know. We're going through these persecutions, either from our family, you know, because everybody has been poisoned. All these people have been poisoned, you know. And that's just going to take me to the book of Revelation. Revelation 18. I'll take it from 3, I think. Okay. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of our fornication. And what's this talking about? You know, the wine is our philosophies, you know. A madness, a teach, a teachings, you know. We all believe in ourselves now, you know. We don't we don't really care about the truth of the scriptures. We don't really care about the commandments, which is the truth actually, you know. We don't really care about anything else. We just, you know, whatever they put to our fronts, that's that's it, you know. Whatever our slave masters put to our front, we just take it and that's it, you know. People are going mad, you know. People are really mad because they don't have any truth in them, you know. They believe a, a, a man can, can, can sleep with another man. A man can sleep with a beast. A woman can sleep with a woman, you know. Just live your life the way you, you want to live your life, you know. This is the democracy they actually push into every one of us. And this is total madness. So if you're not conforming to this madness, they, they see you like a strange person, you know. They see you like an alien. And this is very, very bad, you know. The most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he needs to come back with it quickly, you know. And get all this madness to end because, you know, man is really tired of this place, man. Man is really tired of this place. So, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with Ah, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of our delicacies, you know. So these are the all the, the, all the countries, you know, who, who are under a democracy, they've accepted a democracy and all of our philosophies and our follies, you know. And you see, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of our sin, that ye receive not of our plagues. And this is what we're actually doing, calling out this people, calling out the house of Israel to come out. For our sins have reached unto heaven, and the powers have remembered our iniquities. And it is time now, you know, we're calling on to these brothers, and these brothers actually are really, they're way too drunk with these philosophies, you know. You can't fucking wake them up. You can't wake these brothers up anymore. And they try to make life hard for you that you're teaching them the truth, you know. This thing is really crazy, man. The most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai needs to come back and you know end this madness. Because this this place is so disgusting. This place is so degraded. This place is so messed up and finished, man. This is a crazy world, man. And I'm grateful to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai for having opened my eyes, man. Man, this thing is really it's really touching me, man. I just I just feel like, man, I don't know. <laughs> Let's get. The book of Matthew. Matthew 10, 22. Which says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Man, this is what is going on. We're being hated by all men. We're being aided in our families, at our workplaces, in our circles, you know. We're being aided. And this is exactly what the scriptures actually say. But we just have to hold on and be strong and not let these people influence us with their demons, you know. Because it's not really easy, you know. When all these people, you know, they see you as a mad person, you know, they, they, they come against you. Even if you don't want nothing to do with them, they just personally want to come against you 
and try to 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 change your spirit you know the positive spirit you have i you know influence it with your demonic spirit you know but we have to hold strong you know and these words these words which is the truth the scriptures is going to be the stability of our times you know man man is going through we're actually about to start getting to some times now really that's going really going to go crazy man this is just the beginning of 2021 and you already seen all this madness you know People are going to pray and cry for 2020 to come back. You know, this is just the freaking beginning. Like here in Italy, they already tell, they're already saying things like, you know, workers, all workers need to start, you know, taking his jab, you know, to continue working and stuff like that. You know, it's really, really going to get crazy this 2020, 21, sorry, you know. So, well. I just want you guys, you know, I just wanted to do this video to encourage, you know, your brothers, most especially the brothers in um in Babylon the Great, you know, and, you know, the brothers spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, the brothers in Germany, the brothers in um Holland, you know, the brother in Tanzania, the brother in Nigeria, you know, the brother in the Philippines, in Mexico, you know, man... We just have to hold on strong. You know, our salvation is close. Yahweh Shai is just right at the door, you know, ready to just, you know, stomp on these people. So let's be strong in the faith. Let's hold on to this thing that we have and not let the Satan take it off. You know, it's really, really going to be a crazy time right now. You know, if you don't take the job, people are going to you're going to get persecuted for that already but not to, not only that you know just for the truth you know they're actually going to come for us right now you know they're coming for for for, for the hebrew israel right now you know for those who are preaching the truth that goes against the madness of this world they're actually coming for us with a new terrorist actually which in which we this is not we are not really the new terror we've actually been classified as that you know, but now they're actually coming heavy for us, you know. So you brothers, you know, get prepared and, you know, just have that state of mind. There is nothing to lose in this world, man. There is nothing to lose in this world, man. This world is messed up. We're actually looking forward to the new heaven, you know, and the new head, you know, which is the kingdom that Yahweh Shai is going to be, the ruler, then followed by the, his elect, you know. So I hope this short lesson is going to edify someone today. You know, stay strong in the faith and keep pushing, you know. Don't let anybody bring your spirit down. Don't let anybody bring you down, you know. This is part of the this is part of the the the, the movie, you know. We need to be tried. And this is the hardest part we are actually going into right now. So hopefully Yah was edified. I'd like to give all praises to the most high Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Ruka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught this truth and who rule well. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom on to the next one. Shalom.